it's gonna come together don't worry but this plucking did I go overboard we'll see in the next episode I just picked up a wig <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Y'all see I have tea and I ain't got wine. What had happened was um, we had a good time last night and now I'm drinking tea because I'm trying to be a responsible adult. So y'all tell me what you're drinking down below why are you telling me what you're drinking please hit the subscribe button and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post as you can see i'm posing like this and not like this because me and my lace got in a fight today and me and my lace was beefing today but now it looks good can y'all see y'all see y'all see the wig also can y'all see my press on nails i'm getting distracted let's go ahead and get into what we're here for today which is this gorgeous beautiful water wave wig i want to say thank you to curly me hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video let me go ahead and give you some details about this wig this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig it is a water wave water wave not water water wave texture did i say it was 26 inches i mean 26 gruh gruh Oh, look at that highlight. Oh my God. There are four combs and adjustable straps on this wig. As for the lace, this is a Swiss transparent lace. That's the type of lace that we have going on here. Now, this was the first time I've ever used Swiss transparent lace and there was definitely a learning curve for me. Swiss transparent lace comes in a skin tone more like this and not like this. <laughs> What is it is the skin tone was the biggest issue for me but i was able to work it out most of the work that i had to do on this wig was in the lace area and girl i don't know if it was um the hangover but i overplucked. i just i was just over here like mm, 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 just plucking just just getting it i ended up being able to work it out but i was I was doing way too much but I'm gonna show you how to fix when you mess up so if you want to see me wrestle with my lace and you want to see me work through this beautiful hair and get this texture just please keep on watching and then we'll chat at the end let's go ahead and get started on this wig I'm gonna tell y'all straight up right now we had a good time last night and I am foggy in the head I'm I don't know what's gonna come out of my mouth Let's go ahead and start with the base. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the wig grip first, but this is like my little um, easy ball cap method, the lazy ball cap method, or the girl, I just don't feel like it method. I don't want to. So boom, bam, boom, she done. Whoo, y'all see how light this is? <laughs> I know a lot of times y'all ask if this is big head friendly. I think so because this cap is really large on me. Like there's a whole bunch of space in the back. I feel like it's big head friendly. I've already bleached the knots on this wig. Let's get into plucking this hairline. So all I need to do is make sure it's centered and I pluck in sections, two or three sections across the hairline, but I like to start in the front. These roots look good, but we just need to thin this out. We need to thin it out a good bit. So I have my little tweezers here that I got from Amazon. These tweezers are sharp, but they'll get it done. So what I'm doing is I'm just pulling out from the root. I don't ever think I've showed y'all this. I used to do this a while ago when I was lazy plucking. This is back when I didn't know what I was doing. I just go in and take a clump and just pull it out like this. You have to be careful because you can actually rip your lace doing that. This can definitely speed up the process, but you kind of got to know what you're doing because you can easily create a ball spot and then there's no turning back. So <laughs> if y'all are going to be plucking, it's time to pluck with me and let's just pluck together.
y'all i just plucked for an like literally it's been 45 minutes but can you tell like look at that i'm giving ball spot i'm giving spaces i'm giving natural hairline i think i did a little bit too much but maybe not we'll see okay so next we need to just go ahead and get this hairline flattened out so i'm just gonna push it back some because i don't want it all up on my forehead i'm just gonna pull the hair back to flatten the hairline we gotta use our flattening souffle ooh, ooh. so we're gonna take a good amount of this flattening souffle and we're just gonna layer back i was thinking about doing a middle part but i was like do i really want to do a middle part you know what i'm saying like what do i want to do do y'all use a flattening souffle or do y'all use a wax stick y'all let me know down below okay now let's go ahead and take this brush and i'm just gonna go ahead and start molding Ooh, girl did i overplug <laughs> girl girl <laughs> we're gonna do the same thing on this side bruh it's gonna come together don't worry but this plucking did i go overboard we'll see in the next episode i just picked up a wig don't worry don't worry at all i use the rapid strip to flatten the hairline fold the rapid strip in half because i just kind of want the edges flattened i don't want like i don't want it flat flat like that oh did that rhyme come on come on i'm mirror the stallion <laughs> we've tied her up and i'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for 20 minutes girl i'm shaking in my boots i hope i did not ruin this wig so i'm gonna use my blow dryer speed up this process and then we're gonna see where we at I think I overplugged just a little bitty, 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 tiny bit. <laughs> Girl. But the good thing about side parts is that they look doggone good with overplugged. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm at my best when I'm fixing a mistake because this is my life growing. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make it look that much like my hairline but i kind of did oopsie we make mistakes and we fall down and we get up so i'm just gonna tie the hair back and we're gonna remold diana okay so we're gonna take another rapid strip and go for round two Taking our Revlon blow dryer and we're gonna dry it again. Let's take it off and see what we have. <laughs> this is perfect molding and hairline for baby hairs we are we're in good hands right now okay so now let's get into cutting the lace now for the lace i need to cut it over my ear so we're gonna lose a good amount of cap on each side let's go ahead and cut this lace off girl this is the point of no return once the lace is off that's it This is really light and I am scared, but we 
have to see it through my boy it's time to go ahead and melt this lace down and this is supposed to be the moment of truth i'm not gonna put any makeup on this lace this is supposed to be invisible lace i'm going to use the wig dealer melting spray y'all know i love this spray me in the spray like this we not like this hmm I feel like I'm too brown skin for this. If you're lighter complected, I think this will melt right into your skin, but this is not. No, okay, so I'll be back. Let me take this wig off because I need to tint this lace. This ain't gonna work, no. Okay, so the wig is back off and I need to tint the lace. So I'm going to take, I'm going to use the lace tint dark brown and we're gonna spray into the cap to give it more color because that, 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 that didn't work. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray into it. Ooh, did I tell y'all what it, ooh. This is the Eben Tinted Lace, Lace Tint. I think they actually have this at Target now, but I got this one off Amazon. so much better not the best but better we're going back to the wig dealer spray and we're gonna melt her again hoping for a better result Girl, the hairline is down and she's giving a uh, swim cap. <laughs> the great thing about wigs is that we use the tool of baby hairs to hide the flaws and mistakes of lace. I take our rat tail comb and we're gonna carve out the baby hairs that we want. So, I plucked the hairline away. So oh, I'm going to use my Got To Be Glue gel. Y'all know the girls are out here using mousse. Not I. I'm using some Got To Be Glue gel and I'm just gonna... Ooh, this, this brush is hard. No, ma'am. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a little faint little baby hair, ain't it? Okay, so we put more got to be glued gel on and I'm trying to just sculpt this in this area. So, 
So we're gonna take our shears and I like to cut it short. I don't like long baby hairs anymore. I'm just gonna take it and bring these little pieces back. I mean, why gray? Like that, there we go. Look at that baby hair, y'all see that? Let me turn this light down because I feel like y'all can't see. Baby hair queen, look at uh, uh, I get so excited when I do my baby hairs right. It's just so thrilling. So I'm gonna do the rest of the head. Okay, so the hairline is laid down. I did something a little bit different. I actually added the wig dealer spray after adding the contour color to blend in the hairline. I feel like that adds a little extra oomph and seals it in. I don't know if that's true. That could be in my head, but I feel like that's gonna work. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get these curls back, but first we need to brush out the hair. Okay, we're gonna take our little paddle brush and I just, brush out all the curls because we starting over we start from scratch girl we start from scratch and this is 26 inches of hair long hair it's so big that's what she said y'all know this is giving mink okay this is giving mink look at that i wonder if this is like molded Oh, it is molded. Oh, that is so much better. Yes. Oof. We're gonna part the hair away. This is so much hair. This is why my hair don't need it do. It do. We're gonna go ahead and add the mousse. My ADD is out of control today. We're gonna go ahead and add the mousse. I'm going to use this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. I swear by this stuff. I love it so much. It is so good. I'm just gonna section this away and we're gonna use a clip. What do I do with that hair clip, girl? Take this, look at it. Okay, without even I'm gonna take some of the mousse into the hand and we're saturating the hair. What would, what would happen if I just put it on a brush and then brush it into the hair? Is that smart? I don't know. Oh, I just came up with something. Y'all try that. <laughs> we're gonna clump the curls together. We're gonna put the mousse on, brush it through and just keep going all the way through the head.
Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. The hair is dry and fluffed out. Look how big this hair is. It is huge. This hair is huge. Huge. Let me show you the back. That's the side. Can y'all see? Can you see? You can see. Look at that. Y'all get all these inches. Hold on. I want y'all to get the full. You have to get all the inches. Okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and give y'all my final thoughts on this wig. So I love the curl pattern. I love the idea of an invisible lace, but your skin tone has to match. And for me, invisible lace, this sort of invisible lace was a tad bit too light. Well, it was very light. It was way too light. So I did need to tint the lace. The lace is still really thin. It's just that color. And I'm y'all know I've been struggling, struggling with finding lace tint. If y'all have a lace tint recommendation, please let me know. Now, if you're interested in this curly me wig, of course, I have a coupon code. The coupon code is going to be listed down below. It's real simple. It's Amira for 10% off. Finally, we finished the hair and I hope y'all enjoy watching me fumble through. Girl, I was struggling today. I don't know if it was the wine. Pray for me. In the meantime, I'm going to get out of here. As you can see, I do not have a wine glass. I have tea and ginger in this cup. So cheers to y'all. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Curly Me for sponsoring this video. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm.